Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about the newly added weapon preset system in Escape from Tarkov. If you haven't messed around with the weapon presets yet, I would totally understand as it can seem quite the daunting task. Now I want to take you through the process step by step and hopefully make it a little easier on you guys. Let's start by opening up the weapon preset system by clicking on the tab at the bottom right of the character screen. Now assuming this is your first time here, let's click on open in the top left and choose a weapon to modify. In this example, we'll choose an AK-101. Now we have our gun front and center. Every modifiable part will be listed all around the gun. Clicking on the drop down list for each part will show you every available part that slot can equip. At this point, it is effectively open season. Now you can build whatever type of gun you desire and it won't cost you anything yet. Take note of the info box at the bottom left. You can pop open the window and check the specs of the gun you are building in real time. Very helpful if you are trying to quickly find the best in slot part. Let's whip up a little something. For this example, I'll go for something that looks aesthetically pleasing to me, not necessarily something that has the best recoil or ergonomics. It's important to note some parts will conflict with each other, but the game will let you know which part exactly won't work. Now that you have something designed, it's time to save and name your gun. I like to name it so I can easily remember what kind of gun it is. Recoil M4, Reap IR M1A, etc. Now that you have something designed and saved, it's time to actually buy the parts. Click on find parts at the top left and it will take you to a screen with every part needed for the gun listed out. If you want, you can deselect certain parts and not buy them. You can also purchase individual parts. The filters at the top determine who you're going to be buying from. Traders offer the most stable and reliable transaction as they tend to not run out of the parts they sell, although it can happen. Buying from other players may offer great discounts if you're lucky, but oftentimes if the deal is too good, it will sell out and mess up your build. For now, let's just use the traders for this video. Click on purchase all at the bottom right and select yes. Now the parts have been purchased. At this point, you want to hit the back button at the top right. It will take you back to the weapon building screen. Now we click on the assemble square located at the top left. Select the stock gun you'd like to add all the parts to and hit select. Make sure the stock gun has plenty of room around it as it will try and say you don't have room most of the time. And that's it. Go back to your inventory and you'll find your newly built gun. It's as easy as that. Remember, you can take it into your hideout to test it out without wasting ammo. Now I want to show you a couple more ways you can use the weapon preset system to your advantage. Say you have a really cool gun you got off an enemy and you want to quickly save the build for future use. Take the gun and right click it. Select edit preset. Now click save as in the top left and there you go. The new design is saved. A third way to use the system is probably the most economically friendly. Say you want to utilize what you have found in Raid and you have some loose parts that go to one of your gun builds, including a stock version of the gun itself. Bring up the weapon preset menu and open up the gun you want to build. Go right on and hit assemble gun. Select the stock gun and hit select. Now you can check the box that says include parts that you have and maximize your looting efforts by using parts you already own. Click buy parts and it should take you to a familiar screen. Again, if you already have some parts and check the box, it won't make you rebuy those parts. And that's it guys, that's the weapon preset system in a nutshell. Hopefully this made weapon modding a lot easier for you guys and you can now build some really awesome weapons and have more fun with it. I appreciate all the support from you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for future content if you haven't already. Remember, I stream on Twitch six days a week, so feel free to stop by and ask me any questions. I'm always happy to help. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.